Hey everybody, so this should be a pretty exciting video today. We're going to be doing the first ever demonstration of my Simplex 4070S full color touchscreen hybrid fire alarm control panel. And as you can see I have a couple different uh, Simplex devices laid out here and I do apologize that everything is kind of uh, laying around haphazardly here. You guys probably know from my uh, previous videos that even when I do uh, demonstrations when I don't have a permanent system built yet, I kind of like to mount everything on boxes and smaller pieces of uh, MDF board to keep everything clean. Uh, but for what I'm doing here, I didn't really think that was justified, so I do apologize for the fact that everything is just kind of laying around with the bare wires. But um, disregarding that, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've got. First and foremost, we have the 4007ES itself. You can see I've already uh, pulled the door open because uh, there's that large piece of uh, glass or plastic on the front and it's really reflective and that makes it about impossible to film the panel while the uh, door is closed. Um, so here you have an unobstructed view of the touch screen and all the display indicators. Uh, I won't get into it too much but I'll pop open this cover so you can see some of the boards inside. That's not too bad of a view. So if I focus in on the touch screen, you can see that we have the system as normal message along with the background graphics and the Simplex 4070S logo. So now we're going to move down and take a look at the devices that I have connected to the control unit. So here's the devices for this test and once again I do apologize that they're just kind of laying here. So this is a Simplex 2099-9754 conventional T-bar station. This is wired into zone 3 on the conventional zone relay card in the 4070S. Right here, this is a Simplex 4901-9820 remote horn. This is a uh, selectable version, so you can move a small dip switch between smart sync operation and free run operation. And it is currently set on smart sync operation and connected to NAC4 on the 4070S, which is configured for uh, smart sync operation. Then over here we have a Simplex 4906-9103. This is a uh, smart sync only strobe, so there's no option to select it back to free run. And this is also connected right in there with the 9820 on uh, NAC4. Off to the left of the panel we have a Simplex 4098-9756 duct detector housing. And uh, that has a 4098-9714 uh, smoke sensor in it. This is an IDNet and MapNet2 addressable device, so this is currently wired into the uh, IDNet loop on the 4070S, and this is the only uh, addressable device that is currently configured on the panel. So to get things started, I'm going to go ahead and activate the Simplex T-Bar. Okay, so now both signals have been silenced. You can see we have the fire alarm indicator right here, followed by the alarm silenced indicator, and as always, the uh, AC power indicator. So now I'm going to go ahead and reset the 2099 pulse station. You'll see that as soon as I reset that pull station, right here on the touch screen, it returned back to saying that that zone was in normal condition. Which is handy because if you have like a smoke detector, that you're not sure if the smoke is completely cleared out of the sensing chamber, or you, you know, maybe forgot to reset a pull station, it does keep a real-time um, update right there on whether or not that zone is still an alarm. So once the detector 
clears the smoke, you'll see it go back from abnormal to normal, or once you reset the pull station, it'll go from abnormal back to normal. So now we're going to move over to that duct detector, and we're going to go ahead and test that out. So I'm going to go ahead and conduct a magnet test on the duct detector's board. So now that I took the uh, magnet away from the test point, you'll see that this has also returned to normal, whereas uh, when it was in alarm it said test abnormal. So now we're going to go ahead and go back to the alarm functions menu, and we're going to do a system reset. And it's going to ask, are you sure? You can either wait for the timer or hit accept, and it'll start the reset. And we have no alarms present. And now we're back to the system as normal screen. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.